So children, we will discuss today current rules. Okay, children. So the first topic is the current electricity. Today we are going to discuss the charge. Charge. Okay, children. So coming to the charge, all of you please see here. Charge is denoted by Q. Charge is denoted by Q. And the formula of charge, children, Q is equal to M. Okay. And the units for the charge is coulombs. Units for the charge is coulombs. And in Q is equal to M, children, okay, or else we'll write like that. So charge is denoted by Q and its units are coulombs. Okay, coulombs. And the formula is Q is equal to M. Where N is the number of electrons and E is the charge of electron. Okay, children. Charge of electron is constant, children. You have to remember its value 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 94. You have to remember it further. Now you will get out, sir. First, what is the way charge? Second, charge means, sir. Children, if a conductor is there, a wire, and it is a conductor with a wire. Okay, whenever current is flowing in it, means, sir, what does it mean? In a wire, current is flowing means electrons are flowing. Okay, electrons are flowing. So, total number of electrons, total number of electrons into charge of each electron gives you total charge. Okay, children. Now, suppose one electron is flowing. Suppose 1 into 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19. Suppose 2 are flowing. 2 into 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19 coulombs. Suppose 100 are flowing. 100 into 1.6 into 10 to the power. This charge is same, children. So, if 1000 are flowing, 1000 into 1.6 into 10, if million are flowing, if chlorine is flowing, how many electrons are flowing? That many electrons, total charge of all electrons flowing in a conductor is called as charge. Total charge of all electrons flowing in a conductor is called charge. Okay, children? So, total uh, number of electrons. And one coulomb, see, children, famous question, children, this is very, very important. One coulomb will have how many electrons? This question is very important. One coulomb will have how many electrons? Six point two five into ten to the power of eighteen electrons are there. One coulomb will have this many electrons. Okay, how I got this one? I will show you, children. Please see here. We know Q is equal to n. We know formula Q is equal to n. Question is, one coulomb will have how many electrons? Means n you should find. Out. One coulomb, one coulomb, one coulomb will have how many electrons? And E I so I told you this constant one point six into ten to the power of minus nine. Okay, children, that is constant. Huh? So one is equal to n into if you remove this point here, sixteen into ten to the power of minus twenty. This yeah. will go down. N is equal to one by sixteen into ten to the power of minus twenty, and this goes up. Minus twenty goes up, children. So 10 to the power of 20 by 16, try to understand. N is equal to, so you take two zero side. If you take two zero side, 10 to the power of 18 by 16. 100 by 16 is how much, children? 6.25 into 10 to the power of 18. If I say one coulomb, it means this many electrons are flowing in the conductor. If I say one coulomb of charge is there in the conductor, it means this many electrons, children, 6 point, after 6.25, 18 zeros, that many electrons. Very, very famous question, children. One mark question. One coulomb will have how many electrons? You have to say 6.25 to the power of 18. Two marks question if they ask, did I mention? Three marks also you have to did I mention? Okay, children. So, charge is denoted by Q. Units are coulombs. Formula is used for 10. N is the number of electrons. E is the charge of electrons. And one coulomb will have 6.25 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons. One coulomb will have 6.25 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons. Try to understand, children. One coulomb will have 6.25 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons. Okay, now, another question. And now uh, we'll do some numericals, you know, based on this. Some small, small numericals. You okay. have to mute your audio, I'll say, 100 times till now. So, children, so in the charge, what did I say? This is not a vacuum. Units are coulombs. Formula Q is equal to Me and one uh, uh, charge uh, charge of electron is 1.6 into 10 power of minus 19 coulombs. In exam, they may give or they may not give. Please remember the value children. It will be useful forever, even in this class also, even in intermediate also. I need to say. And N means number of electrons. N means number of electrons. And one coulomb will have how many electrons children? 6.25 into 10 to the power of 18 electrons. Don't forget this. Okay, now some numericals. 
small quantity. Fast fashion. More I use just four five. Find charge present on 10th the power of 19. Find charge present when 10th the power of 19 electrons are flowing in a conductor. First question. Find charge when 10th the power of 19 electrons are flowing in a conductor. So we know Q is equal to N A. Okay, children. N is how much I gave children? 10 to the power of 19. And what is the E children? 1.6 is 10 to the power of minus 19. So answer is 1.6 coulombs. Children, if this many electrons are flowing, charge present in it is 1.6 coulombs. If this many electrons are present in a conductor, charge present is 1.6 coulombs. Note that we didn't understand this one more time. Right. Find number of electrons flowing, find number of electrons flowing when 3.2 coulombs of charge is present. Now I'm asking N children, now I'm asking N. Now I'm asking N. Okay, so children, Q is equal to N. Okay, I gave Q how much? 3 Q is nuclear audience, children, nuclear audience, 3.2. N I'm asking. E is how much children we know 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19. This you bring down. So n is equal to 3.2 by 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 19. 1.6 are this goes up. So 10 to the power of 19 electrons. Children, when 10 to the power of 19 electrons are flowing, 3.2 coulombs of charge is present. When 10 to the power of 19 electrons, I mean I children, no, no, no. Two, two, two. I forgot two. Two into 10 to the power of here yeah, 2 is there, no? Sorry. Right, understand, children. When 2 into 10 to the power of 19 electrons are flowing in a wire, it has, that wire has 3.2 coulombs of charge. 3.2 coulombs of charge. One more question for your understanding. Find, find, find charge when 10 to the power of 20 electrons are flowing in a current. Uh, flowing in a conductor. 10 to the power of 20 electrons are flowing in a conductor. Find charge when 10 to the power of 20 electrons are flowing in a conductor. So, here children already again, Q is equal to N. Q is equal to N, how much I give? 10 to the power of 20. Charge is how much? 1.6 into 10 to the power of minus 90. Try to understand children. So, children, if I remove, uh, if uh, 1.6 into, when base are same, powers can be. And 20 minus 19, try to understand. 1.6 into 10 to the power of 1. That is 1.6 into 10 is 16 coulombs of charge. 16 coulombs of charge is present if 10 to the power of 20 electrons are flowing in a conductor. If 10 to the power of 20 electrons are flowing in the wire, that wire will have 16 coulombs of charge. Coulombs, children, some people will represent C, some people will represent C O L, some people will write coulombs of credit C O L. Okay, children, try to understand children. So Coulombs means uh, it is a unit of charge. Okay, children. And some more numericals and some more examples are there in the description. This is about the charge, children. Children, a small topic, I will say. That's not there for your syllabus. Please mute your audio. A small topic, I will say, children. It's not there in your syllabus. Just I'm saying, just that. Children, when two charges, Q1 and Q2, are separated by distance R, Okay, the force between them, it may be attraction or it may be repulsion. It may be attraction or it may be repulsion is directly proportional to product of their charges. It's not there yet for syllabus, even just remember. Inversely proportional to square of distance between them. Combining both equations, that is directly proportional to Q1, Q2 by R squared. Removing proportionally, that keeps the function of children. That will keep as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught Q1, Q2 by R squared children. This is called famously. Coulomb's inverse square law. Okay, Newton's law of gravitation in 90 class you study nothing. See in 90 class only Coulomb's inverse square law. Okay, where epsilon naught, which I wrote here, is called permittivity of the medium. Permittivity of the medium. Okay, so that is called permittivity of the medium. Apart from the permittivity, children, and 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught value is 9 into 10 to the power of 9 children. 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught value is 9 into 10 to the power of 9. 
Okay, Chen. So this is not there for your syllabus. Just I am discussing, Chen. Anyway, I am discussing. I am telling all these topics. So I am discussing. There is no way important for your syllabus. Next. Okay, so this is about chat, you know, as much as this is for any single query. So at least there is a purpose to even fill the answer. You have to remember for 10th class, this points are enough, and derivation of 6.2.3 for a baby, which I show you very, very much. Okay. No one should talk, I tell you. Okay, so thank you so much.